Do you know that? Eh? The most powerful thing and the most powerful way to pray. Let me show you something about life. You see this life here? Um, it's about energies and connecting energies. So let me show you something. You see the food you eat, the water you drink, the air you breathe. You know it's connected to your health. You know if they're dirty or if they're filthy, then your health is not 100%. Right? Good. So, you see your food is living. Is living. And you speak to living things. For example, you don't, you speak to your living mother. And although some of us speak to our dead, you know, relatives and everything, we understand it's not physical. We understand it's spiritual. But for living things, we speak to them. We speak to them. So, watch about enhancing energies. In the Bible it says that Jesus Christ says, I am the living water. I am the air. I am earth. I am water. I am the sun. These are the four pillars of life. The four elements that were brought together to give a human who has life. Life. But you see the earth pillar. You, you, your body is only 20% earth. 20% earth. So, earth is 100%, but you can only access 20% of earth's energy. So you have to discover 20 out of 100 that fits you. So, what happens when you've discovered one? Or when you've discovered a few? Is it a duty or a matter of simply just eating the foods? So you, you say, okay, I know spinach is good for me, so I eat the food. So you end up, every day you end up going to the restaurant and you're buying the food and then you're eating it. But we don't speak physically to dead things. You see, as I'm washing my spinach, They're alive because the way the Ghanaians cut spinach, they, they don't cut it completely off the stem. So it still lives and it's fresh. So as I know, listen carefully, if you're a Christian, listen. As I know that my spinach is about to make the altar sacrifice to give me life or certain aspects to enrich certain aspects of my life. As I take my time to wash these living plants that are about to make a living sacrifice, I speak to them. I tell them what I want. Scientifically, I know what spinach, contumery, gives. I know. But now I want to connect with this living plant speak to it and and actually let the living plants understand that i understand why i have it in my hand and i understand its powers i respect its powers its god-given powers its natural given powers and that I am seeking that it releases these powers to me, to heal me. When you think about it, in Hebrew Acknology T993, in Acknology they say the name of Jesus is Eurade. Eurade. Remember, Jesus is not a name that they were familiar with. And Eurade was a name they had to give to a name they were not familiar. So they had to come up with a new name when they came across the story of Jesus Christ. So 
for them to accept the story of Jesus Christ or for them to accept Christianity it meant that they had to get rid of their way of life their understanding of life but get this they weren't giving this up listen carefully they weren't giving this up optionally because the person who had brought the alternative brought guns cannons and destructive weapons along with them so the Akans not wanting their people not wanting their people to be lost and not wanting their people blinded from the truth they used the Bible to hide a secret the secret of who Jesus Christ really is you see the truth is that Jesus Christ says that I am the living water that I am earth that I am sun that I am air I am life life is a combination of these four if if something does not combine these four things it's not living Jesus Christ is a combination of these four things and he is living so my people say call him Eurade Eurade so it's a phonetic language Let's break down the understanding of his name in Hebrew Acknology T99 phonetic tree. First, they were told that this son was sent by God to come and die to save them from their sins and from the punishment that had befallen unto them. And that to do so, he was going to die. He was going to die. So he was going to sacrifice his life to save them. In Hebrew Acknology T993, this act will mean that he was born knowing he was something that belonged to death. So he was Owu Adie. Owu Adie. Owu Adie. What does Owo Adie mean? Owo Adie means something that has been created purposefully for death. Something or someone that has been purposely created for death. But it's a phonetic language. And one, one word in a phonetic language means one thing. But depending on where you put it, can also mean another thing. So what is his other name? Ewurade or Wuadie. It denotes what he came to do. He came to die to save your sin. But how? But how? Okay. Ewura. Ewura means vegetation. Ewura. Yeah. Ewura means vegetation. So. For example, spinach is a rural in rural foods. They are the family of Enrura Adriani. But get this. Even the English language supports this argument. Because if you look up the word life, life, what is life? It will tell you that life, anything considered to have life, is something that has the capacity for growth. Growth requires earth, water, air, and sun. And it has something that has the capacity to reproduce itself. Reproduce itself. That's the meaning of life. And trees, trees, they have that capacity. They're living. In Hebrew Acknology T993, we call the tree Idria. But listen to this. You see, the human being is called Nipa Dria. The human tree.
tree. Because the human is seen as a tree. And the human is a tree. That's why the human eats trees. Because tree has taken a different form. The human form. So a tree is consumed by its human form. So they call it idria. But watch. When tree becomes food, it's called idriane. Idriane. You see the ne is the same for the human. The human is called ne pa dria. Ne pa dria. So get this. When it's alive, sorry, when it is dead and has made the ultimate sacrifice and is on your plate and you have asked and sought all these nourishment goodness from it and it has agreed it will give you it, it's called a jane. But because, sorry, but when it is alive and you haven't cut it and it's not about to make the ultimate sacrifice and it's an autonomous living being, just like the human being, it is called idriani because the word ni denotes the, the three things that were created in the image of God to stand upright. That's bibini, bruni, and idriani. So black ni, white ni, and tree ni. Do you see what I mean? So they say, his name is Uwurade. First translation, Uwurade, that which was created to conquer death or for death. Second translation, herbs medication, herbal medication. Uwurade, Uwurade. Why? Because the tree is living, but the tree has never resisted me going up to it and taking it and sorting for what is needed to save my life. Listen, I'm telling you, Jesus is an application. Jesus, he's an application. Just mentioning his name won't help you. Applying Jesus will help you. Eurade is an application. Just mentioning Eurade would not help you. Applying Eurade will help you. Listen, the Bible says that your body is the temple of God. Not, not the church you go to. Not the church you go to. But rather your, your actual body. Your body is the temple where God prefers to reside. So now watch this. You go to church. You pray to God. You, you don't apply Jesus. And then you go and pray to God in the church. No wonder the priest is able to take your money. You're not fully connected. That's one. Two. You finish and you go straight to a restaurant and you eat. The funny thing is there. Your prayers have not connected to the elements. You're in a mosque, you're in a church. Four by four walls. You're cut away from natural air. Air conditioned air is not natural. You're cut away from the energy of air, which takes away your message. The, the natural ground is cut away because now you're in treated ground. The sun is shut off by a pyramid roof because you are now under a dome. Growth. You are praying to grow, but you are cut away from growth. You are praying for life, but you are cut away from life. You are praying to Jesus, but you are not applying Jesus. You are praying to Irade, but you are not applying Irade because you see, let me tell you, as Moses got his message from the third kind, the tree kind, a tree spoke to Moses. Idriani, 
spoke to Moses. And the message was so powerful. It set the Egyptians free. Now, if someone is always touching your food, someone is always cooking your food, the person won't receive your messages. In fact, the person is blocking your messages. And just like your priest, they're blocking your messages as they're taking your money and killing you. But it's not their fault. It's your inability to have time for yourself. I'm telling you, the best time of the cooking process is taking your time to actually interact with the fresh irradi in your hand. Because why? You need the energy of earth. People do not understand it. When, when people want to hear Theresa May or, 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 or Nanado speak, they tune into their TV. But their TV is fully aware. It needs to tap in into the energy of earth in order to be able to reach them. So it does. Frequencies, radio frequencies, Ghanaians love listening to the radio. They know they have to connect to get a better frequency, so they do. But your body is a radio receiver, is a radio transmitter. Your body, every technology on the face of this planet, think about it, is based on the human body. Because you don't create nothing that the human cannot somehow benefit from. Even if it's a bomb, one human may be disadvantaged by it, but another will benefit from it. But the body is the temple and the only way you know that your temple is holy is by applying Iurade. Cooking was actually meant to be a family prayer time. Cleaning, sorting, chopping. The ultimate sacrifice. Harvest. You're not meant to be shouting. The journey is telepathic. Just think your prayers as you caress, as you wash. Just energize. Just connect. I'm telling you, that's when you end up cooking a meal and you forgot to put any seasoning in there and then you end up saying it's still the best meal ever why because you see taste touch feel everything is energy if the energy is good your body will produce the enzymes to meet the taste you're putting in you'll be surprised that every vegetable has a sweet and sour taste hidden within it. Some have it more pungent than others, depending on what they're good for. But get this, you see the tongue? You see one living big organ, but this living organ is like a microchip. It's got many cells on it, many different cells, all programmed to understand different flavors and to produce the enzymes to enhance those flavors. And that's the thing. We're no longer connected to our food. And because we're no longer connected to our food, the taste doesn't come to us. So we chase it. And that's where Poison are introduced in Ghana is the magic key. Artificial flavors. Because your tongue, you you it hasn't been trained. Your tongues haven't been trained. So your tongues are not doing its job. A good way to train your tongue is by um, 
gargling um, honey, natural honey in your mouth every morning and drinking it before you eat anything. Mix it with a bit of garlic and ginger. Mm, drink it. Leave that taste in your mouth instead of toothpaste. And then introduce yourself to your first meals. Don't add sugar. Don't add sugar. You can add a bit of honey. Don't add too much salt. It will add it. Death's medication. He who doesn't eat will die. He who doesn't eat the right food will die. He who doesn't eat the right 20% will die. He who doesn't apply it will die. Will die. When you apply it will die. For the creator is the father and the energy. You want to tune in your TV. You start looking for the station. This is the body station. In the end, it is true. You did come to die for it. 